the Lord, people of God. Welcome to another edition of your favorite devotional, Power Seeds, Empowering Your Lives. Our topic today says, Rise Above the Challenge. Rise Above the Challenge. I'd like you to say to yourself, I will rise above the challenge. Our key text is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. The Passion Translation says, We all experience times of testing, which is normal for every human being. But God will be faithful to you. He will screen and filter the severity, the nature, and timing of every test or trial you face, so that you can bear with it. And each test is an opportunity to trust Him more. For along with every trial, God has provided for you a way of escape that will bring you out of it victoriously. Glory to God. Remember our topic says we should rise above the challenge. I love something our lead pastor always says. Papa will say, if you don't see yourself rising, not even a crane can lift you up. So your rising begins from your mind. Your rising begins from your thought pattern from inside of you from you making up your mind making a decision that rise you will you must ride you must rise in the name of jesus background and thoughts on the text test in this verse of the bible has mostly been interpreted as a temptation to sin while that is not entirely wrong Temptations in the context of today's seed could be life's tests thrown at you in the case of Job. As in the case of Job, the test he faced was challenges. So many Christians in this generation of Pentecostal worship have grown to believe that Christianity is a smooth ride with no hurdles to jump or challenges to face. I wish that I wish that were the case, but unfortunately, it isn't. Being a Christian sure comes with many challenges and difficult seasons, but we have a promise in today's text that we can rise above the challenges of life and emerge victorious. Hallelujah! You can rise above that storm, rise above that challenge, that difficulty, and still emerge victorious. That will be your story and testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, is your marriage in crisis? Did you lose your job? Have you lost several pregnancies in a row? Has your business come down to zero? Did you venture into something that seems not to be yielding the results you anticipated, even though you have tried everything you know? The good news is that you are equal to the challenge. Yes, you are equal to the challenge. God is not wicked. He is not a tax master. He permits experiences based on your capacity. God permits permits, um, challenges, adversities around our lives based on our individual capacities. Every experience he allows is for his purpose and he makes a way of escape for us through them all. Hallelujah. God will make a way of escape for you through that challenge you're facing right now. Now, how does this text apply to us? Do not fret. Don't be worried. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downcast. Persist through every storm and watch yourself so like an eagle. What are you currently facing? Follow these steps to overcome them. Now, step number one. Acknowledge God. Realize that God may not stop you from being thrown into the fire, but He will be there with you in the midst of the fire. You remember the Hebrew boys? God was with them in the, in the person of the Holy Ghost in the fire. So the fire could not even scorch on them. So acknowledge that He is with you all the time. What is step number two? Invite God. Many a times God will be in the boat with you and the storms will rage. He can prevent the storms, but he won't. As with his disciples then, he could choose to do nothing until you call on him. 
God can be with you in that storm. But if you don't invite him to come and get you out of that challenging situation, he may just not help you. So ask. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Keep your, uh, the third point here says keep your faith alive. So we have to keep our faith alive. How exactly do we keep our faith alive? Faith is the evidence of your hope for victory. It shows in how much of God's word you speak. How you praise and thank God and missed the challenge. How positive your attitude is and what actions you take in persistence. Today, soar through the storms. Hallelujah. We are encouraged to do what? Soar through the storms. Just like the eagle. That bird is, take, is always taking advantage of the storms. It flies. When other birds are flying away from the storms, the storms are pushing them away. The eagle thrives on the storm. It takes its position and he enjoys the storm. So say with me, Father, thank you for anticipating my challenges and making a way of escape for me and letting me know that I am equal to anything and everything. I am charged up and I step out in faith, believing that I'm well able to win by your grace. I receive your help today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our action points. So spend five minutes praising God. Ha ha ha. Will you do that? Spend just minimum of five minutes praising God and listening for his guidance on that challenging situation. We are encouraged to praise God and listen to his guidance, listen to get his guidance for that particular situation you're going through and God will come through for us in the mighty name of Jesus. I trust you have been blessed, inspired and motivated in the word of God with what you've heard this day. I love for you to um, sit back and listen to this message again and trust that God will come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Tony Adokie. Tune in same time for another edition of Encounters with the Power Seeds. God bless you. There are men that rise by level. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man held by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. 